What's going on my friends? If you don't know who I am, my name is Bennett Grazer and I'm a filmmaker based in Switzerland that loves to create tutorials all around filmmaking. I know you don't give a shit, but after watching this tutorial, you might consider subscribing because in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make an awesome hyperlapse video with your iPhone. Oh, look at this hair. So a hyperlapse is basically a moving time-lapse, which you can create by moving your camera a short distance between each shot. There are a couple of ways to make a hyperlapse video. The first method is to shoot in time-lapse mode. Now open up your camera and choose time-lapse at the bottom. If supported, use your wide angle lens in your camera to get the best results. Make sure to enable grid line so that you can set a focal point for your shot. I usually like to use build buildings as my focal point. Once you have your object centered in the frame, now you're ready to hit the record button. Slowly move towards or away from your object at a constant speed. Make sure to keep your hands as steady as possible while also having the object centered. Once you're done, you can stop recording. Your iPhone will take a minute to stabilize the footage and once it's done, you can preview your clip. Now it can be challenging to get a smooth hyperlapse if your footage is still shaky, try reshooting it. Focus more on keeping your hands steady or moving a little bit slower to really keep the object centered. You can also import the video into an editing software like Final Cut Pro X to further stabilize it. This method is a really great option to shoot hyperlapse if you're on the run. So the second method is to manually shoot your photos while walking. So you would take a step, make a photo, take another step and make a photo and so on. Make sure to maintain the same distance on each step to create a smooth motion. Enable grid lines as always and have the object in your frame at the exact same spot while taking your photos. This way it's easier to stabilize it in post. When you're done, choose an editing software. I like using Final Cut Pro X and import all of the photos into your timeline. Create a compound clip and export it as a video I then re-import it and add image stabilization, color grade it and export it again as a smooth hyperlapse video. The great thing about doing it this way is that you have a better resolution if you're shooting in RAW and not in a compressed JPEG file. This is sort of the traditional way of doing hyperlapse. The downside to it is obviously is that it takes a lot of time. You have to walk the track, take a photo after each step and edit the entire sequence into a video. Now the third method would be to use a gimbal like the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. It's so much easier to use a gimbal to create smooth looking footage, especially if you want to do a hyperlapse video. Now what really sells the effect is if you add motion blur in post to give the expression that it's a long exposure. I prefer adding motion blur because it makes it look more fluid and organic. I would definitely recommend shooting with a gimbal because it makes the process just so much easier. Now for our fourth method, that would be to use a hyperlapse app. If you have the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 gimbal, you can pair it with the DJI Mimo app that comes with a hyperlapse mode. The best part is that you can track the object while creating your hyperlapse, which makes the process even easier of getting a smoother hyperlapse. In the camera viewer, select an object you want to track by creating creating a box around it. Once you're ready, hit the record button and choose the direction you want to move. After you're done, stop recording and your iPhone will automatically create a moving time-lapse for you that you can upload on your social media platform. Now, I find this the easiest and quickest way to get really nice hyperlapse results. And I personally prefer using a gimbal when doing these hyperlapses. So that was it for today's tutorial, guys. If this video was helpful for you please leave a like and let me know in the comment section below what kind of method you use to shoot hyperlapse video i would love to see your results so tag me in your video on instagram at bennett grazer subscribe to my channel so that i can keep creating these tutorials for you i really enjoy every single new subscriber thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video